All right, guys, so we are going to shop my entire collection and I'm just going to pick products that inspire me in the moment and I'm going to take you along with me. So we're actually in my office right now. I'm going to show you where I keep all my makeup and I'm going to grab a little bin. Let's see. All right, got a little bin here so I can put makeup products in it as I go and I'm just going to treat this like if I were to go to the drugstore, go to Ulta, really any makeup store and just shop like I'm buying all this stuff. So let me show you what we're working with here. All right, so this is where I keep all of my makeup. I'm still trying to figure out how I wanna organize this. This is just what I've done within the past week or so because um, we basically redid our whole office. So um, this is just what I have my makeup in right now. And uh, we're gonna go through it and pick out some fun makeup products. So I have everything divided by um, product type. So this is my little primer station, concealers, blushes, and highlighters down there. And then over here, I have foundations, powders, uh, bronzer and contour, and then face palettes down there. And then all through these little middle cubbies, I've got eye products, lip products, more lip products, eyeshadow palettes, mascaras, brow products, all my color fix. And then down there is just stuff that does not match me right now. So it's a lot of backup stuff. Or um, if I have multiple shades of things, I keep them in here. All right, so I'm going to try and do this in a way where you can where you can see what I'm actually doing. So again, like I mentioned, all my primers are right here. I'm actually gonna skip primer today. Um, I just don't feel like I need it. I've already moisturized my skin and I really don't wear primer. So we're gonna go straight into foundation. So I'm gonna come over here. This is where I keep all my foundations. Hopefully you can see this. So I do full coverage, like medium full coverage on this side. And then this is all my sh sheer light coverage, tinted moisturizers, things like that. So I am feeling like I want a little bit more coverage today. So I'm going to opt for something on this side. And honestly, the one that's speaking to me is my rare foundation. I don't know why. I've just been loving this one recently. Um, it just always looks really good. So I'm going to use this today. And I have this in the shade 220C. So I'm going to put this in my little bin. And then we're going to come over here to concealers. So I have these somewhat organized. These are my correctors. These are lighter coverage concealers and these are all like my full, more full coverage concealers. As you can tell, I definitely prefer more coverage. Um, so I think I'm going to opt for something either between here and here. I'm not going to mess with a corrector today. All right, let's do this one. Let's do the Ilia... Uh, True Skin Serum Concealer, and I'm going to take this in the shade Lotus. So yeah, I haven't used this in a while, so put this in my little bin. All right, and then let's just move down. So I've got all my blushes right here. I have it divided by cream and liquid blushes and then powder blushes. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I've got a ton of blushes back there. These are all my stick blushes, the new rare ones. Um, so because I don't know what I look or basically anything I'm doing, I might pick a few different options. Ooh, you know what? Actually, since I don't know what I look I'm doing, I think I'm going to opt for a blush palette. These are the Aether Beauty, uh, Gemstone, what are these called? Um, Crystal Charged Cheek Palettes, and this one is in the shade Rose Quartz. I really, really like these palettes. And then I also have it in the shade Amber. Ooh. Let's do Amber. These are nice kind of warmer shades. And um, I think regardless of whatever look I do, this will be perfect. And all of these containers, I actually got these at Target in the uh, kitchen section. I think they are fridge organizers or something. So I'll link these below if you're curious. Um, but yeah, I just got these. They're really nice. I also, they also have like little smaller ones. So I can fit two of the larger ones or, you know, four of the smaller ones or two and one. All right, so moving on to highlighter. I want to try and pick one I haven't used in a while. Um, so these are all my cream and liquid highlighters. These are all my powder highlighters. Ooh, I haven't used my Saint one in a while. That's actually one of my favorites. So, so, so pretty. Ooh, I haven't used my Aeropress one in a while either. 
All right, let's do Ara Perez. This is the vanilla highlighter in the shade Sun Halo, really pretty cream highlighter. All right, so moving on to bronzer. This is where I keep all my bronzers. I have uh, cream and liquid bronzers on this side. I have powder bronzers on this side. And I don't know if you can see in the back, but that's just like overflow that <laughs> did not fit in these containers. Um, so I'm definitely going to pick some kind of cream liquid bronzer situation and then I'll probably pick a powder bronzer to go on top. So I've got the Jouer ones here, the um, Makeup by Maria ones right there. I've got this e.l.f. concealer which I love using as a cream bronzer. Um, I actually have some of these Nude Sticks concealers in here that I like using as bronzer as well. And then my one of my current favorites which is the Kai Para Mi contour palette. This is so good. I've been using this a ton recently, so I'm going to opt for something different. Let's do the Soul Body bronzer. I haven't used this in a little bit, and it's a really pretty cream bronzer. Do the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Diffuse Bronze Light. I haven't used this in a hot minute, and I really like this one. All right, so moving on to the eye products. Like I mentioned, I keep all my eyeshadow palettes right here. I have a bunch in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, I need to kind of figure out a better way to store these, but this is just how I have it right now. So I think I am going to pick an eyeshadow palette just because I don't use eyeshadow palettes very often and yeah, I want to get more use out of them. So I'm going to try and pick one I haven't used in a while. I have no idea what kind of eye look I want to do. Actually, you know what? I'm wearing this kind of like pastel minty green top. I think I want to do maybe something blue or green and I have the new Bare Minerals um, Mineralist eyeshadow palettes in this drawer so maybe I'll use like stone washed Let's see if I can do this one-handed it's got some really pretty blues in here and that would be out of my comfort zone and in this drawer I have all my kind of eye topper glittery shadows like my bodyography glitter pigments um, mermaid eye colors and the hourglass scattered lights, a bunch of color pop singles in here, which are really pretty. And actually I have a really pretty, um, green one from bodyography supernova. Ooh, maybe I'll use that. Okay. Let's do this with the bare minerals eyeshadow palette. And then over here I have a bunch of eyeliners. Ooh, maybe I'll use some of these blues as well. We'll just pull everything that's blue. Jinx just catches my eye. Let's see. This is the Florence by Mills. Um, What's My Line Eyeliner in the shade Rolling. That's really pretty. We'll set that aside. Have these um, Same Wa Visionary Makeup Crayons in the shade Sky and what is this? Sapphire. All right, so moving into lips, I keep all of my liquid lips in here. These are my brighter lipsticks. So like reds, oranges, pinks, things like that. And then down here is where I keep all my nude lipsticks. So in this container, this is where all my nude lipsticks are. And then in this drawer, this is where I keep all my lip glosses, tinted lip balms, just like really light things. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a mess. And I tend to go for more peachy nudes when I'm doing a blue eyeshadow look. Ooh, I have this Bodyography. Um, this is really good actually. This is their Fabric Texture Lipstick, I think is what it's called. Yeah, Fabric Texture Lipstick in the shade Chiffon. That's a really pretty shade. I think I'm gonna use that. And then just in case I do want to gloss, I'm going to pull gloss. Ooh, I actually have not tried this yet. This is the Bare Minerals, um, what are these called? Lip Gloss Balms. It's in the shade Adventure. That would actually be really pretty. Okay, I'm going to pull that. And then I actually keep all of my lip pencils in my studio just because... I just like having them there. So all my lip pencils are in there, so we'll pick one later. Um, but now we're going to move on to mascara. And I think I'm just going to use this Hint mascara. I talked about this in my um, previous video, just trying out a bunch of new makeup. 
and I mentioned that I wanted to kind of keep playing with this, get a feel for it. So I'm just going to use this today. Um, yeah, so put that in the bin and then I think, I think that's it. I think we've got a full face here. I'm excited. We're going to step outside my comfort zone, do something, um, a little bit different. Sorry for these weird angles, but yeah, I've got all my makeup right here and let's go to the studio. We're going to go straight into foundation. I picked my rare beauty foundation. This is in the shade 220C. All right, and then for concealer, I chose my Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. This is in the shade Lotus. Wow, that is a spot on shade for this foundation. And then for cream bronzer, I picked my Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm in the shade Medium. Looks like this. And I'm just taking this on my Bare Minerals Smoothing Face Brush. Alright, and then I completely forgot to pick a bronzer and brow products. So I'm going to take you back over to my makeup and we'll pick a powder and some brow products. I don't even know what I was thinking. I just totally forgot. Ooh, I have this Cover FX translucent, uh, perfect setting powder and translucent. It's a little mini size. I think I'm gonna use this. Haven't used this in a while. And then for brows, I've got this little compartment right here. I think I'm just gonna use my Kosas um, brow pencil. I'm gonna use this in the shade Soft Brown. Kosas Clear Gel, so I'll use those. All right. We are back. Sorry about that. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so for powder, I've got my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light. I don't even know how I feel about this because um, I never use it. I just bought the little mini size to try out. And I feel like I have not adequately tried it out. Oh, I forgot how much I love the Ilia concealer. It looks so good. It almost doesn't need to be set because it kind of dries down and sets pretty. Everything is looking so nice. I feel like I get stuck in a rut when it comes to using makeup products because I just find things that I like and then I forget to use other things. And then when I go back and actually use other makeup products, I'm like, oh wow, yeah, I remember how much, why I like this so much. All right, so I did pick a powder bronzer and I picked the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Diffuse Bronze, Bronze Light, yes. And I'm just gonna take this on my Ilia Finishing Powder Brush. Just pop that right on top of that cream bronzer that we already applied. And then for blush, I chose my Aether Beauty Crystal Charge Cheek Palette in amber and I thought this would be nice because I've got some got some variety here so if I want to go back in and kind of make it deeper or you know whatever I can do that so let's see all right I'm gonna start with the lighter shade which is balance and I'm gonna take it on the beat uh, this is the Sigma Beauty Bird collab this is the dream blush brush All right, and then for highlighter, I chose the Ara Perez Vanilla Highlighter in the shade Sun Halo. Just a really pretty cream. Have not used this in a hot minute, and I actually really love this product. So I'll pick some up, top off the excess, and just pat it on. For the brows, <laughs> I'm going to use my Kosas Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. So I'm going to use the Airbrow in clear, whoa, to set the, my hair in place. Kind of just want to do this aquamarine shade from Bare Minerals because it is so, oh. This is why I do not like these liners. They break immediately. 
I'm just going to start right at my lash line. Just apply this all the way across. Just lay down a nice base. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I kind of want to keep this eye look relatively simple as I put blue all over my eyes. Um, but I want it to be colorful but simple. Ooh, I should have put a little bit of eye cream down on my eyes because this is a little dry. Kind of hard to blend out. Just wanted to add some depth to the lash line. Kind of lay down a nice base. And now we'll go into the actual palette. And if you missed my last video, this actually pops out and you can recycle this entire piece. You just got to cut off the elastic. And then I think you can pop the pans out because the pans are metal and then recycle the paper that's in here. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But it does seem to be made out of paper. So you should just be able to pop the pans out and recycle this. All right. So I'm going to start with the shade Sea Glass. Yeah, I mentioned in my last video that these Bare Minerals shadows are a little bit more on the stiff side. They're a little more sheer. They're not super, super pigmented. So having that liner underneath is helping out a lot because this is a very light color. It looks quite deep in the pan, but once you blend it out on the skin or on the eyes, it's not as deep. And then I'm going to go back in with the Bare Minerals pencil and I'm going to run this on my lower lash line and then I'm going to take that same sea glass shade and just pop that right on top. All right, sorry, Chris just called me and I went ahead and took a little bit of the shade Azure, which is this matte blue, and I just ran that through my crease and then I also took the liner, the same aquamarine liner, and just ran that in my waterline. So that's all I've done so far. And I think I'm going to stop there with the eyeshadow palette and go into the glitter pigment. Again, this is the shade Supernova by Bodyography. And I'm just going to use this on my finger. Actually, I'm going to swatch it for you first so you can see how beautiful this is. But yeah, it definitely shifts a little more green, which is perfect. You can get that blue-green going on the eyes. And I'm just going to start patting this all over the lid. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. Oh, oh, so pretty. All right, and then for mascara, I pulled the new Hint Flirt Mascara. This is brand new. All right, mascara is done. I'm going to let it dry and then go in with another coat. Also, my eye is watering so bad. I don't know what is causing that, but I don't know if you can tell. But a lot of that blue is uh, just gone because my eye is watering um so yeah that's not loving that but other than that the eyes look really good all right so let's do the lip and then we'll move back move back to mascara i pulled the bare minerals mineralist lip gloss balm in adventure this is really pretty brown these are a little more sheer so i don't think it'll come out like that intensely brown oh yeah it's like a nice sheer brown and then I also pulled the Bodyography Fabric Texture Lipstick in the shade Chiffon. So I'm just going to go in with that first. Oh, I forgot how much I love this formula and this color. You know what? I'm super into this Sugar and Spice Lip Pencil from LA Girl. So I'm just going to use that again. I know I used this a lot lately, but it's just really nice. And let's do the gloss. I didn't know if I was going to do matte or glossy, but I think I'm kind of feeling the gloss. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. They smell like candy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Shop My Stash video. This was so fun. Got me out of my comfort zone. Got me to use some products that I haven't used in a little bit. And I thoroughly enjoyed this. I love the way that, that that my eye makeup looks. And yeah, it was fun to just do something a little different and just be spontaneous with my makeup. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are
Always, always see.